Hi, I'm Dr. Leslie Memsick. I'm a surgical oncologist in Beverly Hills with a specialty in breast. And I want to speak to you a little bit about the risks of breast cancer. One in eight women in the Western Hemisphere develop breast cancer. And although some women have increased risks, the majority of women that develop breast cancer have no specific risk factors except that they are a woman in the 21st century. So I cannot emphasize too much how important that we all take care because we are all at risk. Now there are environmental, behavioral choices, drugs, and genetic factors, all of which can increase a woman's risk for breast cancer. There are some things you cannot change. You cannot change uh, how early you have children. If you have no children or you have children after age 35, you have a slightly increased risk for breast cancer. Family history is an extremely important risk factor. If you have any history of breast cancer in your family, either on your mother's side or your father's side, especially if it's associated with other cancers such as colon, ovarian, melanoma, lung, pancreatic, you may have an increased risk of breast cancer. Breast cancer does tend to run in families. So it is extremely important that you know your family history. Don't be afraid to talk to the people in your family and find out exactly how did Aunt Mabel die? How did your grandmother die? What problems have other cousins and aunts and uncles had in your family, particularly your parents? Their history is your history, and it's important that you know your family history. A number one risk of developing breast cancer is a prior history of breast cancer. Those women who develop breast cancer and even are likely cured must be watched forever because they do have an increased risk of developing a second primary. It's not dramatic, but they do need to be watched. If you have a history of breast cancer, even though you know you're cured, please stay in touch with your physicians and make sure that we don't miss anything because you have an increased risk of developing a second cancer. If you've ever had a pre-cancer, this, this is diagnosed by biopsies and include atypical ductal hyperplasia or atypical lobular hyperplasia or lobular carcinoma in situ, which although it sounds like cancer, it really is just a risk factor, then you need to be watched more closely. Make sure that if you change doctors, your new doctor knows that you do have this risk factor based upon a previous biopsy. Your doctor can decide whether or not you may need to be followed more closely because you have a higher risk. You may need to be examined more often or have different imaging studies. If you are obese and living on a high fat diet or drinking alcohol, those are three things that you can improve upon. By minimizing your alcohol intake, which is not the same thing as never drinking, and improving your health by having a sensible diet and having a sensible weight, remembering that everybody has a different number for their ideal weight. This does not mean you need to be a size zero. You may be a very comfortable, healthy size 10 but you need to keep be aware of what is the healthy weight for you and do your best to maintain this. Postmenopausal women that are obese have two times the risk of breast cancer than their normal weight peers. Alcohol is a major risk factor for, for um, breast cancer and increases the more alcohol you drink, so everything in moderation. High fat diets have been associated with uh, increased risk for breast cancer. So all of the things you've heard about to improve your health for heart disease, specifically increased fruits, vegetables, decreased red meats, decreased fats, decreased alcohol, is all equally appropriate for decreasing your risk for breast cancer. Tobacco also increases your risk for breast cancer. Smoking is the number one uh, preventable risk factor for multiple cancers. So really, if you're smoking, quit. Exercise. Exercise has been proven to decrease the risk of breast cancer. A sedentary lifestyle increases your risk for multiple cancers and heart disease, including breast cancer. Only 90 minutes a week can dramatically decrease your risk of developing breast cancer. And it's so easy. You can go to the gym if you like that. You can play any sport, hiking, dancing, swimming, playing football with your kids, housework. 
Just little small changes can make such a difference in improving risks of breast cancer. Specifically, taking a flight of stairs once in a while, parking your car farther away from the grocery store so you have to walk a little bit farther, taking a walk before dinner every night. These are minor things which are actually very easy to incorporate in your lifestyle which makes such a huge difference. So in summer we are all at risk for developing breast cancer. However, there are some things you can do to minimize it. You want to change the things you can and monitor the things you can't. That will make a big difference. Most common treatments for breast cancer include lumpectomy, where the cancer is removed but the rest of the breast is left intact, versus mastectomy, where the entire